in this video we will see how we can add our own VIs and drivers and controls to the controls palette and the functions palette specifically to instrument drivers palette and to the user functions and controls palette to achieve that uh, we need to prepare the VIs and controls that we will be using as example. So let's go and choose a uh, VI that we can use. Let's choose this uh, action engine that we had created earlier. Let's launch this VI and create its icons as the icons would be the VI representation that would be visible in the LabVIEW palettes. Let's modify this icon. Let's clear this default icon. Let's create a border and just write a simple text. close it and save it let's use this control change this icon as well simple text will do ok and close it and save it let's check this last VA and it already has an icon so it will work next let's copy these the, this whole folder and let's take it to the lab view folder program files national instruments lab 2019 and let's place it in a user lib folder paste here and let's also paste it in the instrument lib folder Let's go back to LabVIEW. Let's uh, create a new VI. Usually, after placing the folders and for their contents to appear in the palettes, you have to uh, close the LabVIEW and then restarted but we can use a small trick uh, that we can use and that would be to go to the advanced tools and advanced and then let's use edit palette set so the edit value palette um, menu has appeared and we don't don't need to change anything just cancel it we just call it so that the palettes would uh, refresh and our changes would appear so let's go and check 
let's right click and let's go to instrument IO palette instrument drivers and there is our folder with its VI both VIs let's use this VI we can select it and we can place it and use it the other one uh, the other place we placed uh, this uh, same folder was in the uh, user user lib let's go and check go to user libraries and there is our folder and our VIs which can be used now for uh, dragging and dropping since I had already used it let's use the other one and here it is so let's go uh, and check if the control uh, is also available let's right click on the front panel let's go to user controls and our folder is there and our control is also there which we can place on the front panel and start using it now let's remove it and see let's close this VI we don't need to save it let's go back to the instrument driver let's delete this folder and we had also placed one copy in the user lib let's delete this also so if we come back to lab view create a new VI go to this block diagram go to instrument IO and instrument drivers the palette is still there because we need to close this lab view and then restart it only then the lab view will refresh the palettes it does it only once it loads to do that we will use our previous trick tools menu advanced and added palette set so once the palette editor launches we don't need to make any changes just cancel it let's go back to lab view let's right click on the block diagram instrument IO instrument drivers and the folder is not there let's go to the user lib user libraries and there is no folder there if we go to the front panel right click go to user controls the folder is not there as well one disadvantage of using this method is that number one you cannot control where the libraries go they go either in user lib or in instrument lib and where they show in the palettes second you cannot change the names of the folders or the contents of the folders that appear in the shortcut palettes but it is still useful for adding your own libraries of folders and VIs and controls so hope this uh, helped you in your programming thanks for watching